Hi, Hiram here. I get a lot of requests to uh, do different reviews and tests on cook kits and stoves and burners. And one of them that I've been getting a lot of requests for lately is this thing. I think it's called the Alex 7-Piece Camping Cook Set. Uh, I've gotten a lot of requests. Something you can find on eBay. So since lately I've had a lot of generosity from viewers sending me stuff, I've been able to spend some of my uh, toy money to buy some of this stuff. Got one on eBay. This cost me $40. It's a seven-piece set, they say. Comes in a mesh bag. Nice little mesh bag. Has a... I don't know what this is for, but it's a cleaning cloth. I don't know. And the seven pieces are... This is part of the pot stand. Another piece of the pot stand. You'll see this when it all gets together. A 450 milliliter bowl. Just like so. Don't know if it would work as a frying pan. Now all of this is supposed to be hard anodized aluminum. But I can see some places where whatever this coating is, it's already scraped off and I haven't even used this. It comes with a new Trangia type burner. This is the 0.9 liter pot. Has markings on the inside. 800 milliliters, 24 ounces. I'll have to see how accurate that is. The cup goes on top as a lid. Both have handles. The uh, handle of the pot has looks like it has silicon on it, but the cup has nothing. And then this is the other part of the pot stand. The windshield pot stand. Now all told... What you see sitting here with an empty, no I took, no I didn't put a burner in there. Just these pieces weigh 496.7 grams or 17.52 ounces or about 1.1 pounds. Now the way this goes together, you put this on the bottom. There's a little keyhole, can you see them there, keyhole slots. Just sets on there, rotates a little bit, and then it locks it in place. Whatever burner you use sets in like that. This pot stand part comes in the top, and what they have are little dents here that hold this from falling down through. And then your pot goes on top like that. Now the distance, I don't know about this, the distance from the top of the burner to the bottom of the pot is about two and three eighths of an inch. So it'll be interesting to see uh, what kind of boiling times we get with this. So what I'll do now is get some water prepped and I'll be right back for a test. Okay, I've got my water here. Let me light this. Wait for it to come to a bloom. I think I would said earlier that the distance between the top of the burner to the bottom of the pot is two point or two and three eighths of an inch. Way more than the uh, one inch that seems to be the sweet spot for that. I don't know, is this screen tilted? I hope not. Camera straight. Okay, let's see here. Okay, I'm using one of my old Trangia burners rather than the new one that came with the set. I may just modify that in Wall Hikers uh, jet port thing. Okay, that's blooming. Two cups of water, setting at 60 degrees, and let's see where this goes. Here we are four minutes into the burn. The temperature's got up to 130 degrees. 
starting at 60. I think you can see from this, it does look like the flame is a little extended. It comes out, comes in, and then comes back out again. So that looks like something for me to play with, modify it. Okay, there we have 210, 211, 212 and 7 minutes, 15 seconds. Let me stop this because I want to get a measurement of how much fuel was used. Okay, it handles cool. I must say, not a great time, but not a bad time. I was rather impressed by that. I thought this uh, pot stand rig that was in here would act like a big heat sink, but not too bad. So that was two cups of water. Starting at 60 degrees, came to a full boil of 212 degrees Fahrenheit in 7 minutes and 15 seconds. Hmm. Well... The rig is a little heavy. I mean, it's a pound for everything without the Trangia even in it, let alone fueled up. But I am surprised. I didn't do that. Not a great time, but not a bad time. Okay, so there's a couple of uh, modifications I'll try with this. I'll try raising the burner up so that it's setting. Maybe what I could do is just take this away take the bottom part away and just let it set on the table that would raise this up the burner up uh, one thing I was looking at this that I thought might be handy is to use that modification that wall hiker did where he put a refueling jet on the side you know that he could hook up the fuel line to it except I think I'll do it from the bottom when he does it from the side the jets not long up the jet or outlet port, whatever, inlet port, isn't long enough to get past this inside uh, wall, so he ends up taking that out. But if I go up from the bottom, the hose, the filling hose, hose can go in here and up, and then I could have almost unlimited fueling time. So it's just something I'll play with. Okay, I hope this helps the people that have been asking for this. This is the Alec, Alex, Alex, whatever, A-L-O-C-S, seven-piece camping cook set. I found this on eBay for about $40, free shipping. Oh, there is a website here, www.alocs.cn. I'll have to check that out. So I hope that helped the people that asked for this. I thank you for watching. I look forward to your input, questions, remarks, helpful suggestions. And as always, watch for my buddy Max. Bye now.